Welcome to Firebase release notes for September, where we cover nine recent updates from Firebase. In the remote config section of the Firebase console, you can now download the templates so that you can change them locally and then publish the modified templates again. This was already possible through the admin APIs, but it's now also available in the Firebase console. To learn more, click the link that I shared below. In version 9.9.3 of our JavaScript SDK for the real-time database, we fixed an issue where the GET call would return incorrect results when you used a filtered GET and an onValue listener on the same path. We also updated the type of the action parameter for data snapshot for each. And we fixed a bug in transaction handling that caused filtered index queries to override the default queries. Upgrade to the latest version with the link that I included below. By using Firebase App Check, you can easily reduce the abuse of your app by only allowing API calls that come from your genuine app on a genuine device. Well, since version 9.5 of our SDK for iOS and other Apple platforms, App Check now supports using Device Check on WatchOS 9 and later, and App Attest on WatchOS 9 and later, and TVOS 15 and later. So upgrade today to secure more API calls from more platforms. If you always use the Firebase console to manage your Firestore data, you may not realize that you can also do this in the Google Cloud console, which sometimes has more advanced features. That's why we now have a More in Cloud menu in the Firebase console. And if you click that, you see a screen like this, and then are taken to the corresponding page in the Cloud console. And speaking of Firebase and Cloud Console, if you use Cloud Functions for Firebase, you might have noticed that the Firebase Console no longer shows the logging output of your code. We just noticed that we couldn't keep up with all of the features in Cloud Monitoring and the logging consoles, so now we link to those instead of having our own subset of the functionality. Love it? Hate it? Let us know in the comments below. With remote configs on device personalization, you can create an optimized experience for each of your users. Until recently, that experience could only be optimized on the count of a certain event type in Google Analytics. But now, you can also use the sum of a parameter in those events. So for example, if you log virtual currency spend events to Analytics, you can now optimize for each user on the sum of their currency value parameter. We've already seen reports of multi percent increases in the bottom line revenue for some of our developers, which is really not bad for setting up a single personalization. In Firebase Test Lab, you can test your app across many different Android and iOS devices. But until recently, you had to click each individual device to see its details. With the new device catalog, you can now easily access information across multiple devices at a glance to, for example, compare their capacity. The catalog now also contains virtual devices that run on ARM-based hosts. And these ARM-backed devices perform most tasks three to six times faster than on traditional hosts. And they support running GPU-heavy tasks in hardware, like, for example, user interface rendering, which is up to 100 times faster. You can recognize these ARM-based devices by checking if their name ends on .arm in the device catalog. To learn more, see all the links for Test Lab that I included below. Each project using Cloud Storage for Firebase now must have a unique service account instead of one that is shared globally across all projects. This improves the security of your files, but it may affect existing projects. So if you suddenly see error code 412 for an existing app, or if your app is experiencing issues all of a sudden, check the FAQ that I link below. We love learning from our customers. So to opt in to our user research, scan this spiffy QR code, or go old school and find the alert subscription setting in the research and testing section of the Firebase console and make sure that it's toggled on. That way, we know that it's OK to contact you for surveys and conversations with our team. Those were all the updates we have time for today. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below. My name is Puff, and I'll see you on a future episode of Firebase Release Notes.